Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In today's video, we will talk about a new tool launched by AWS, VPC Reachability Analyzer. This new tool was launched by AWS in last reInvent and today we will discuss about it and we'll discuss what are the use cases and I'll give you a demo as well showing how it works. So let's first understand what this tool is. Basically, this is a configuration analysis tool that helps you to perform connectivity testing between a source and a destination resource in your VPC or it can be across the VPCs as well. So to give you an example, suppose you have your EC2 server in your VPC and uh, you have your bastion host and you are trying to make a connection with your EC2 server and you're you're getting some kind of error in that that network connectivity you're not able to do that normally what you do that you try to check it out your security group you will go and check out your NACL, try to make sure that all the rules are there it's allowing you the traffic should go and all the stuff then if the server is in different vpc then you will try to see that do you have connectivity between these two vpcs or not and all those stuff you have to do it but now going instead of going through all this security group knuckles connectivity and everything instead of doing that on your own you can use this vpc reachability analyzer tool which helps you to do that analysis so what it does that it analyzes all the configuration or you have in your environment and try to find out that whether the source your bastion host can reach to your destination that means your ec2 server one thing to note in this that it does not send any ping or any packets from source to destination it just use your configuration you described or you put it in a security group or knuckles or whatever connectivity you're using it just analyze that configuration and based on that analysis it provide you the result that whether your source will be um, will can make a connectivity to the destination or not it does not send any ping or any packet that thing is very crucial here that it's not sending any packets between these two so after performing this analysis if vpc reachability analyzer finds out that uh, your destination is reachable then reachability analyzer produces a hope by hope detail of the virtual network path between your source and the destination so it will tell you that okay starting from the store source it will go to your security group it will go to your knuckle then it will go to your whatever peering connection you have between vpc suppose you are doing a post vpc then in the other vpc that what will be next stop so it will kind of lay down the whole path uh, in that uh, vpc reachable analyzer analysis and it will show you all the hops so but if it identifies that there is some blocking uh, your source cannot reach to the destination then it will give you a reason as well that hey uh, security group uh, rule need to be changed or route table does not have a route in there or maybe knuckle has some issues or something else so it, it will give you an error as well that uh, that why your source cannot reach your destination so both way if it is reachable then it will give you complete analysis that okay what path uh, it's, it's uh, suggesting and if it is not reachable then it will give you uh, the region as well that why it's not reachable another thing to mention here that if you have multiple paths between source and destination this vpc uh, reachability analyzer will analyze all the paths but will display the shortest path available for that particular traffic so it will analyze all the path but will give you only the shortest path so next let's talk about few use cases so one of the use case like we we talked about that troubleshooting connectivity issue between uh, source and destination like it can be because of any misconfiguration like bastion or an ec2 server suppose security group is not allowing you to uh, make connection on the port 22 so that's one of the misconfiguration is there the second kind of uh, use case says that it also helps you to find out that whether your network configuration match to what you want to do suppose you have a 3 tier application and you want that your uh, so suppose you have vpc and you have three subnets one subnet for your web uh, second for application and third for database and you want that your web tier cannot talk to database tier so you can use this vpc reachability analyzer to say that can instance in my web tier 
can talk to my database tier instance or not. If they are, if they can talk to each other, that means that your network configuration is good and is working the way you want to. But if they are reachable to each other, then you know that hey, it's reachable. That means that my configuration has some problem and I need to fix that. So it works in way that if there is a problem that you can find it out, but it also helps you to find out that that what you want to do with your network configuration is that configuration working fine or not. The third way is or the third use case is you can automate the verification of your connectivity intent as your um, network configuration changes. So suppose you make changes to a security group. Now, after making change to a security group, you want to make sure that your all the path, all the traffics are working fine. It's not breaking anything. So how you can uh, find it out? So you can automate that process. So you know that whenever you make a change, it gets recorded in your cloud trail. And from there, you can use your event page or some kind of notification that whenever there is a change in the cloud trail for your security group or NECL or whatever uh, resource you want to put it there, it will kick off a process which will tell or kick a Lambda function. The Lambda function can internally do the reachability analyzer, uh, start it, find out, match it with your uh, configuration what you want and if there is some problem in there then it can give you an error message or send you a notification so that's how you can automate as well to find out your uh, or you can kind of link it with your deployments to make sure that whatever you're deploying will not impact or will not change anything in your in environment so next let's go to the console and we'll see in a demo that how it will work so for the demo what I have done have created two VPCs um, and I've created a VP. We are pairing connection between these two and I have EC2 instance in uh, both of them and we'll try to see that whether they can talk to each other or not and uh, whatever error we'll find we'll show you and then we'll try to resolve it until it make that uh, both the instances are able to reach to each other. So let's go to the console and uh, we'll see on the other side of the demo. Okay guys, I've logged in into my console and I have two VPC, one and two. And uh, I've created a pairing connection between these two VPCs. This is a VPC a pairing connection and I have uh, EC2 instance running, two EC2 instance running one in each, each of this uh, VPCs. So let's go to uh, reachability analyzer and um, see that uh, whether one instance can reach to another or not. So for the reachability analyzer, you will go to VPC console and there you will find it under reachability, reachability analyzer. Let's create a path, create an analyze path. First, you have, you can give a name tag if you want to. Uh, I'll just do test one. Then in the source type, you can choose the source. There are a couple of options you have, transit gateway, VPN gateway, instances, network interface, gateway, Internet Gateway, VPC Endpoint and VPC Peering Connection. So we, we are going to choose the instance, but you have another options as well, which you can do. Uh, I'll choose one of my source as uh, one of the instance in one VPC. And destination is again, I want to choose a different uh, source. So that's my destination, the different instance type. Now you can give the port, destination port. Suppose you want to uh, check for port 22, but it's optional, you can just leave it normal but if you want you can choose a particular port as well and the protocol you have tcp and udp so i'll keep it tcp for this testing then let's do create an analyze path it will create an analysis with the analysis id uh, it will take few minutes uh, not few minutes it can from few seconds to a minute or so because it's a asynchronous call which goes behind the scene and try to uh, analyze the configurations you have. So behind the scene, it will be analyzing your security groups. It will be analyzing your route table, NACL, and all those information to to check whether it can make a connection with the other, other instance or not. So like I mentioned, it's not sending any packets. It's not sending any anything. It's just uh, analyzing the configurations. So let's um, refresh it, and you can see that you've got the reachability status at not reachable. 
So let's analyze that what is the issue, why it's not uh, reaching. So you see that there are three different uh, explanation it provided. The first one is a route table does not have applicable route, right? Because these two VPCs has peering connection. That's why it find out. And one thing, let me back it out. So these two instances can talk to each other by using the internet gateway as well. But because VPC peering connection is there and that will be the optimal path for this, like it has a multiple path, but uh, peering connection will, will be the optimal. So that's why it choose that one and it's showing explanation for that. So it's saying that route table does not have applicable route because I don't have a route for the peering connection and similarly for the other side as well that you don't have any routes so that's why they are not able to talk to each other the other thing it finds out that in one of the security group uh, the ENI SG rule mismatch so it does not have a appropriate rule which can make a connection with with the other side so these are the two problems at three problems basically it identifies and it's telling you that that uh, you have to go and fix it. So if you click on this security group and you open it. So let's see that uh, what rules we have in this. So if you see for the inbound, we don't have any rule. So that's the problem because there is no rule. It's, it's not allowing any of the traffic. We can edit it. We can say add rule. Uh, I'll just keep it open for all the traffic for now. but but you can do it only for port 22 if you want save rule so now we fix one of the problem let's go and try to reanalyze it so we can say analyze path i i'll, I'll explain this intermediate component again uh, or, or let, let me talk it about it now so the reason intermediate component filter comes it like suppose you have uh, different paths and uh, right now it just showed you that peering connection is one of them but if you want to get it analyzed by using some different path so you can provide the ar number of that suppose you have a load balancer in, in between so you can say that hey i want to go my i want to analyze that whether my packets or whether, whether my traffic can go through the load balancer or not so you can provide the load balancer ar number here and uh, it will use that path to analyze it Right now, I think it support pairing connection, uh, load balancer, and accept the gateway load balancer and the net gateway. These are the three options which is which it uh, allow you to provide in the intermediate component. So let me show you the documentation. If you see the documentation in the intermediate component, you can specify the load balancer, net gateway, and the pairing connection only. So I won't provide anything. I'll just say confirm and see. So again, it will do the asynchronous call, try to find out that what's going on, analyze all the uh, resources. And again, we got the not reachable, but this time we got error only for the route table, the security group we fixed. And that's why we didn't get any error for that. So now let's go and fix our route tables as well, both of them. So in the first route table, we are going to put the route for my other VPC. So ID, uh, IP address for the other VPC is 10.0.0.0.16. And we need to send the traffic to peering connection. And similarly for the other one, let me take the okay. So we have updated both the route tables, and our now we should be good to go and we should get the reachability status is successful. So let's let it complete. Okay, now you can say it's a reachable. And if you see in the explanation or NS Explorer, it's showing you the hope by hope that from 
instance, you is going to ENI to security group to ACL to route table to pairing connection to ACL to security group to ENI to your instance. So it gives you the full path that how your traffic is going to traverse between these two instances. So that's how uh, your VPC reachability analyzer work, guys. And um, it basically helps you to troubleshoot. I have seen so many uh, customers reaching out to us asking that, hey, I'm not able to reach to my instance. And uh, most of the time we found that the security group is uh, does not have the path or maybe the route table have some issue. So this tool will help to do some self troubleshooting instead of reaching out to AWS premium support to, to get this. So hope you guys uh, understood that how it work and uh, I'm hoping that you will use it in your environment to find out or troubleshoot the issues you are, you are having. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any question and uh, please do like and subscribe to my videos and uh, I will be push putting more videos in the coming weeks. Uh, the reInvent is coming and a lot of new features will be launching and I'll try to cover as much as possible like I did for the last year. So thank you so much guys for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.